Hello everybody, Apple Demo here. Today I wanted to showcase a method to get iOS 4 onto the iPhone 4 untethered. The only two requirements to do this method is that you have a Mac and that your iPhone 4 is of a specific model. I'll go over this in greater detail during the actual process. I'm sure you're all eager to find out how to get iOS 4 onto your iPhone 4, so let's get straight into it. The first thing that you'll need to get is the iOS 7.1.2 IPSW and the iOS 4.3.3 IPSW files for the iPhone 4. These can be easily obtained from the website called IPSW.me just by doing the same process that I'm doing on screen. Just keep in mind that these files can take up a little bit of disk space and that the process to get iOS 4 on your actual iPhone 4 will create a few files that are large in size. Next, you will want to download the Cherry Flower Jailbreak tool. Thank you Dora to iOS for developing a great tool by the way. After the file is downloaded, extract it on your desktop. A link to where the IPSW files and the Cherry Flower Jailbreak tool can be downloaded will be in the description. First, connect your iPhone 4 booted to the computer. Make sure that you trust your computer on your iPhone when doing this. Click the text shown on screen and check the little value checking the iPhone model. If it is 3, 1, your iPhone can run iOS 4. You will want to open a terminal window on your Mac. Locate where you unzipped the Cherry Flower Jailbreak Tool folder and CD into it in the terminal window. Also open the text file with the list of commands that I've supplied in the description. Copy and paste iDeviceRestore-t, then drag and drop the iOS 7.1.2 firmware file for the iPhone 4. A small but important note, always make sure to add appropriate spacing to every commands that you do. Now click enter. This command has just downloaded the necessary shsh files and has shown you the ecid that you need to use. Copy the ECID that you're shown in your terminal window. Now go over to the list of commands and paste the ECID wherever you see ECID. I've highlighted it in purple text to make it easier to see. It's worth mentioning that this ECID will only work for the current iPhone 4 that you're trying to install iOS 4 on. If you have other iPhone 4s that you also want to do this process on, You'll have to do this individually for every phone. Once you've finished doing that, you can copy and paste the second command into the terminal window and press enter. You can now copy and paste the third terminal command and press enter. The fourth command is the most difficult, but also the most important step. Copy and paste Cherry GB into the terminal window. Now locate your iOS 4.3.3 Restore IPSW and drag and drop it into the terminal window. Copy and paste your ECID text along with the IPSW name into the terminal window. This will be the actual name of the custom IPSW that you make. Copy and paste these other two commands into the terminal window. Now locate your iOS 7.1.2 Restore IPSW and drag and drop it into the terminal window. Now copy and paste these final commands and press enter. Your iOS 4.3.3 IPSW, custom tailored for this iPhone, is now being made. This process usually takes a few minutes to complete. After the process finishes, copy and paste but don't press enter yet on the next command. Now put your iPhone in a DFU mode. Now 
Once your iPhone is detected by the computer, you can now press enter. This will effectively pwn your iPhone so it can now be ready for iOS 4.3.3. Now copy and paste the next command into the terminal window and press enter. Now the time you all have been waiting for, time to actually get iOS 4.3.3 onto your phone. Copy the first three parts of the command into the terminal window and then locate the custom IPSW that was made. This is in the Cherry Flower Jailbreak folder. If you've done this process more than once, make sure that you're dragging and dropping the proper IPSW file. Just make sure that the ECID of your iPhone matches the one of the IPSW file. You can now press enter, finally sit back and relax while your iPhone is being restored to iOS 4. And welcome to iOS 7. That's a joke. The only real side effect of doing this method is you will briefly see the iOS 7 logo when rebooting the iPhone. This is because of the boot chain exploit in iOS 7.1.2 that this method utilizes to get back to iOS 4.3.3. Congratulations, you have successfully downgraded your iPhone back to iOS 4. While it has been possible to downgrade an iPhone 4 back to iOS 4 for a very long time, this has always been tethered, which basically means if you ever reboot your iPhone, you need to connect it to a computer to just turn it on. But this method is fully untethered, meaning that you can reboot that iPhone as many times as you want and you'll never have to connect it to a computer. Here's a demonstration of how the reboot cycle on an iPhone that has iOS 4.3.3 will look. A massive thank you goes out to the developers of the Cherry Flower Jailbreak tool. Their website is in the description, and I try to look at the author info, but, um... Well, I don't think I'm answering that question. If my video helped you get iOS 4 back onto your iPhone 4, please leave a like, and even consider subscribing. It really helps motivate me to create more content just like this, and makes me feel like I'm actually helping people out. Anyways, I hope you enjoy iOS 4, and I'll see you in the next one.